So yeah guys, this is <coughs> John Paul, Massive Mastiff's channel. It's been um, a few months since I've been on again. Just had too much to do guys, work and everything else. Um, so yeah, we've got some nice weather. It's uh, April the 20th. Hang on a minute, Hank. You're gonna get yourself chained up. You don't know. So yeah guys, I always chain him up, put him in the back garden, chain him up to bath him because I can keep control of him. So yeah, he's um he's just gone three years old now guys, well about three, he was three in Jan. So he's doing pretty well. Um diet's really good. The only issue I've got is his ears, I've been playing him up again. As you can see. So what I've done guys is when I'm bathing him, I'm gonna do this at the same time. So you see this little this little jar here, little spray. So it squeezes out. So I just mix that with olive oil and uh, white vinegar. So the oil will lubricate the air down in the canal and then remove any debris. And um, the vinegar will kill any yeasty fungi business going down well going on down there as well and it should be all right then for a bit i've changed this diet i've tried all sorts of different things but it goes and it can be gone for months and then it'll just come back so what i've done guys is i've soaked him in hippie scrub in a mix there and that's uh that cameline lavender so i've left him for a bit i've let the hippie scrub all round these bits and pieces as you can see Left that, left that to soak around there. I know it's gross guys, but this is what you have to do. All around there, otherwise what you get, you get a lot of sweat marks and rub marks in between, and you get yeast issues there. So yeah, I'll leave that to soak on, and while it's soaking on, I'm gonna shred him. I mean, that's just a couple of minutes. I'll leave that there for the birds to make a nest. And there's his shredding tool. So guys, let me know if you want one of these. Um, it's not a Ferminator, because they're about 30 pounds, but it's, it's, it's just a copy. They're not, not nowhere near as expensive, but they do do the job. So, his hair's a full with oil now, and it's irritating him. But it's gotta stay in there with the white vinegar for the time being, and then what I'll do is I'll get the hose pipe on a trickle, and I'll wash the air out, which will cool it down, and then I'll dry it. Look at that, guys. So, yeah, in the summer, I'll normally do them every two to three weeks because obviously uh, people say not to bath them as that often, but as often as that, sorry, but with the products on the market now, like this Johnson's, you can bath them a lot more regular. Dog shampoo ain't what it used to be. So, yeah. I'll de-shred him with this. I'll wash him again, I'll shred him again, and then I'll clean his hairs out, which are really doing his heading. But he's looking good, guys. Yeah. Mm? Your hair's doing your heading. You might even get your teeth brushed today, Hank. Mm? So yeah, like I say, I always train him up because it stops him running off. And I can get hold of him then, do his hairs and clean him up. So yeah, guys, it's just a bit of a quick one, really. Um, just a short video. What you got there? Tomato. <laughs> just uh, a catch up really showing you Hank. How he's looking. And uh, just a quick one on how, how to bath them. And how regular, um, like I say, around this end and all around his testicles and his armpits, I do the, uh, the hippie scrub. Um, probably once every four or six days because like these mastiffs they do sweat he's a big dog and uh, you don't just get rubs and yeast issues in their armpits or around the uh, back end or the testicles so yeah it's important to do it regular guys so yeah guys hope you uh, enjoyed the quick one I'm gonna wash him off now carry on shredding him and uh, 
I'm going to take him out over the park. I mean, look at that. So it was good time, yeah, a good 20 minutes to get all this off him. But I'm, I'm sick of it, it's in the house, it's all over me. You can't wear anything nice. It molts really badly. All year round as well, not seasonal. So there you go guys, just another thing to bear in mind when you buy a Mastiff. Anyway, this is Ank the Tank, the South African Bauble. And uh, I'll catch up with you soon guys, enjoy your day. It's the 19th of April and it's absolutely scorching up. So I'm going to do the dog for a walk and uh, get something to eat. Enjoy my bank holiday weekend. So uh, see you soon guys. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.